people i am bharat acharya welcome to our new video so today's video we are doing programmers model of ad86 yes now this is a very important video which i want you to watch just before you start writing your first program now here is your position you see in the introduction of ad86 you learned the architecture you got a basic idea of the instructions so yeah you may not have learned all the instructions you don't need all the instructions to write programs at least not in the beginning but you've seen add subtract multiply divide the main ones right which you use in most programs now you want to start programming before that watch this video what i've done in programmer's model is i have filtered through 60 70 pages of textbook material and given you that refined knowledge which you need to know this should be right at the top of your mind when you want to start coding first thing we're going to take a look at registers yes we have seen registers in the architecture but that was theory knowledge here from 20 years of teaching experience and doing umpteen programs i'm going to tell you exactly which register should be used for what these registers are your best tools when you write programming if you know how to use them every register though they are called general purpose registers every register has a particular role to play which only that register can do so i am going to pinpoint and tell you if you want to do multiply divide keep this register free if your program requires loops keep this register free if you want to access a series of locations use this register and so on so i'm going to tell you the exact use of every particular register which you're going to be doing in programs then we're going to tackle the flags yes we have seen the whole flag register there are nine flags there are six status flags i hope you remember them the three control flags yeah fine that's theory knowledge now you don't use all those nine flags in programs you may finish your whole semester without using parity flag or without using overflow flag yeah, so many flags are there only from theory point of view but as a programmer especially as a beginner you need to know some particular flags which you will use practically in every program so i'm going to tell you which flag you need to use and what is its purpose this is the case check this flag so i'm going to break it down to you to that final point so that you are equipped with this you don't get surprised while writing the program oh this is what has to be done you are well prepared for that already finally we going to take a look at memory yes we have seen memory segmentation there was a one hour video because that is a big answer so you've seen all of that that is your theory answer now here you don't need all of that information you need to know basically what segmentation does to your program when you're coding so i'm going to break it down and tell you exactly where to focus how to relate segmentation with your programming so once you know all of this writing the first program and then getting on with it becomes easy that's where most people struggle they say programming is tough because they haven't written it once you start writing first second add two numbers multiply numbers add a series of numbers block transfer by that time you your your ball has started rolling then you are smart no one can stop you after that once you get a grip on it then you keep going and getting better and better but to push you to that wagon to start programming this is the video that i have created i hope you really enjoy learning it now This was the introduction. You want to watch the whole video? Come on my website www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link is given down below. Once you click there, you will see a bunch of courses. I teach lots of processors, controllers, COA. I teach many more things which I'll be making courses of as soon as I can. Select this course of 8086. Click the subscribe button. It will take you to a payment page. Once you make the payment, your course becomes active. Your subscription is active for six months. watch all the videos over and over again till the time you become absolutely confident not just from exam point of view make your foundation strong you want to get into vlsi you want to get into ai you want to get into machine learning you want to get into these powerful fields which have come back so strong now then you got to make your foundation strong knowing one processor thoroughly completely gives you a big advantage when you want to learn higher processors okay so come on my website What's the register for the ADD six course? Start watching the videos. Along with the videos, you also get PDFs. With every video, you get a PDF which has the full theory information. If it's a circuit, you have the full circuit diagram with explanation. If it's a program, you have the program with comments. Everything with the whole logic. Whatever material you need will be there in the PDF. So you don't need any other textbook or any other kind of material to learn ADD six. Plus, you will get PDFs of Viva questions from exam point of view, and this new thing, PDFs of MCQs. that's a new trend and most universities have that those mcqs are not just from college level we have simple questions tough questions and the crazy ones in case you preparing for entrance exams or for company interviews most importantly you get direct access to me this is my whatsapp number whenever you have a doubt once you're my student you're most welcome whenever you have a doubt text me on whatsapp as soon as i'm free i will reply 
okay hope to see you there wish you all the best enjoy learning